Shaddai International Christian Center London is a community of people who are passionate about sharing the love, hope, goodness, and purpose of God to our generation. The El Shaddai I see is a prophetic church. It's a church with healing in their wings. It's a church that just don't know how to worship, but knows how to decree the word of God to a generation. It's a church that is vested and founded on revelation knowledge. It's a church that will prophesy life to a dying world. We are a multicultural church with over a thousand members from more than 55 different nations. Our meetings are family oriented with vibrant, extravagant worship and inspiring practical teaching from God's word. It would be our pleasure to welcome you to this family, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome once again to today's broadcast as we continue to deal with the subject, Days of Heaven on Earth. I want you to realize that more than just what might sound like a, an exciting title, this is actually the word of God to us. He said in the book of Deuteronomy that if you lay up the word of God in your heart, then your days and those of your children would be multiplied like the days of heaven on earth. And so today, let's release our faith together as we get into the broadcast and learn the will of God, but also act on that word and then begin to expect to experience the days of heaven on earth because that's the will of God for us. And I look forward to seeing you after the broadcast. Days of heaven on earth. Listen to me very carefully. They belong to those whose primary agenda is to promote heaven's agenda. They don't belong to the guy who loves days of heaven on earth. They belong to those of us who will say, I can't continue to come to this church and not do anything. I can't continue to be a Christian and not share the gospel. I can't continue to be a Christian and walk in unforgiveness. I can't continue to be a Christian and just say, well, I'm not going over there because, you know, I'm not sure whether Pastor Mumba is in London or in Houston, uh, so I guess I'll stay home. You are taking away from your heaven on earth. And then don't complain we did not happen. Why? Because you set yourself up for that. It will be for those of us, we're going to make Jesus king. Because you're going to see, we, right now, I'm dealing with you. But, but then maybe Tuesday, I'm going to shift you and show you that, that God's burden is his purpose. Everything he's doing, at the bottom of all of it, his purpose is the completion of redemption. It's not about you. All your healing, your house, your car, your deliverance, your manifestation and your multiplication, all of that stuff is nothing but a byproduct of those things that undergird the completion of redemption. That's why you will never understand God's choices if you don't know that God's purpose is his burden. That's why God will bypass somebody perfect and use a ragamuffin because he can trust them with his purpose. And you as a human being will be like, how come? He said, David is a man after my own heart. Why? Why? Not, is it because he is flawless? Is it because he will never make mistakes? No, that's not the reason. David is a man after my own heart. Why? Because he will complete. He will do everything that I tell him to do. And because of that, I'm going to help him and cause him to come to the place where for, forever there will always be a son to sit on the throne of David. Why, why is the millennial reign of Christ going to take place? A thousand years. Jesus Christ has to come back on earth and sit on the throne of David. Because David 
had to complete the purpose. He said, in spite of all my challenges, in spite of all my failures, I'm not going to quit on God. I'm not going to sit down. I'm not going to apologize. I am still going to continue to pursue what God told me. And God said, okay, you got issues, you got challenges, you got failures, and people can rightly write you off. But because you favor my righteous cause, even Jesus will be a son that establishes the kingdom on the pretext of the throne of David. Whatever you do, let your heart, let there be a fire in your bosom that beats for the purpose of God. I told God, I don't know how we're going to do this. I don't care what my body says, but you will help us. You will help us because we're not going to fail this generation. Great Britain, you are not done with the United Kingdom yet. We are still going to plant a church in every major city. And our generation will hear about the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ. Do you believe that today? Yes. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand of praise if we believe that. But it is for those of us who are planted. Finally, for now. Go to Romans chapter 4. Romans chapter 4. Thank you, Jesus. Have I preached too long? Can you all take this? You got tonight off now. You can't complain too much. Amen. And of course, you are there a lot of time off. You know, some of you had too much time. You got up to mischief. You started messing with folk just because you were bored. You know how quiet it got? Somebody say that's preaching right there. Come on, like you see, like we, you can see where it is. Right there. Amen. <laughs> Romans chapter 4, come on. Praise the Lord. Verse 16. This is how we're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to start in verse 13. For the promise <laughs> that Ramson Mumba, right, what's your name? Would be an heir of the world. I'm going to say it again. That he would be an heir of the world. I'm trying to get you to see something bigger. And you're just thinking about your rent. I'm trying to talk to you about inheriting the world and you're, you're only thinking about my varicose veins. And your uncle Festus, who's been trying to run your life. Heirs. I don't think you can take this. I don't think some of you can handle this. I don't think that it is really come into your realm of perception yet that, that it is me he is talking about. I am an heir of you see, some of you can't even say it. Okay, okay, that's what I'm talking about. I am an heir of the God of mercy. An heir of the world. It wasn't to Abraham and to his seed through the law. Mm, suki, suki now. It wasn't by works. That's what the law was. Self-qualification. So, so, I hereby invite all of you that don't qualify to take your place. I hereby invite everyone that is still under construction to be bold about their airship. I hereby extend an invitation to those of you that are still under construction to not disqualify yourself because it's not going to be by your own righteousness. We're going to preach this so much that you will literally be saying, until you get to this, every time I preach, every time one of the pastors preach, until the question begins to come up. See, we haven't even preached that because we haven't preached this long enough because nobody is saying, shall we continue in sin? I mean, we're going to preach this so much that it's not you. Until everybody begins to think, he's really giving everybody a license to sin. But folk don't need a license to sin. If you're born again, you're not looking for a place to sin. Are you listening to me? But, but you're going to see this as we go along. But, but you connect to it by faith, not by your works. 
not because of your goodness, but because of his goodness. Not because of your perfection, but because of his perfection. Not because of your power, but because of his power. Not because of your diligence, but because of his anointing. Not because of where you came from, but because of where he came from. Not because of where you sit, but because of where he has made you to sit. Come on, somebody. Not because of what you know, but because of what he knows. No, not because of what you can do, but because of what he can do through you. Come on, somebody. And you're going to preach this so much that, that you're going to be saying, now what's my place? What shall I do? Because most of us love to do things in order to feel like we qualify. But it's not by your works, but it's by the righteousness of faith. We're going to leave that alone. For if those who are of the law are heirs, then faith is made void. See, see people say, well, if I ask the question, what makes faith void? Most of you are sin and forgiveness. No. Can you read? We'll read it to you. What makes faith void? Works. When you try to work in order to earn it, you invalidate your faith. Oh, man. When you say, if I had prayed two more hours, maybe I could have got it. <laughs> you just invalidated your faith. Romans 8 says, but what does the righteousness of faith say? <laughs> it, it doesn't say... Who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. The righteousness of faith speaks. And this year, we're going to use our words to dominate. Not just to come out. No, 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 no. Faith's highest expression is not breakthrough or deliverance. Faith's highest expression is the power to create. This year, you and I are going to discover, could it be that we are just too awesome that we don't need to compete or tear anybody down in order to receive our stuff. Could it be that by faith we can call those things that be not as though they were and create what there once never existed? Join Dr. Ramsam Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held around the United Kingdom throughout 2012. I don't know what situation you got, but if you can find it in the Word that there's a way out, the first thing you need to do is to conceive the Word, and now it's just a matter of time. You are on your way to manifestation. Come and hear the uncompromising Word of God taught with simplicity and understanding in Nottingham on the 11th of February, Bradford on the 25th of February, Cardiff on the 9th of June, Birmingham on the 21st of July, Manchester on the 18th of August, Sheffield on the 22nd of September, Loughborough on the 20th of October. You were born healed. You were born sound. You were born to be the head and not the tail. You were born for everything you touched to turn to gold. You were born to succeed and to rise up like an eagle and not be beneath but above only. Glory to God. Your destiny is about to change and your life will never be the same again. For more information and to register, call us at 084-560-2270. Email info at elshaddaitoday.com or log on to our website at www.elshaddaitoday.com. Word Explosion 2012. Come and discover your destiny and enter into the realm of possibility. Admission is free. Don't invalidate your faith. Every time, oh God, I'm not worthy. Hey, shut up, what's, not, what, what's new? Everybody knows you're not worthy. I wish I was, no, look. I should have stopped shooting all over yourself. <laughs> it's not by works, but by the righteousness, which is of faith. Look at verse 16. Therefore, it is of faith. It is of faith. We're going to park there in a minute. It is of faith. Somebody say, it is of faith. It is the most important requirement is for you to just say, God, I believe you. Yes. Now, I don't know how it will be done. If you ask me, I think it is quite impossible. But I believe you. Somebody say, I believe God. I believe God. Come on, lift your hand up. Say, Lord, Lord I believe you. I believe that it is possible. 
to have days of heaven on the earth. Now check this out. You don't have to wonder and worry about how he's going to do it. It is of faith. Oh, God of mercy. That it might be by grace. Okay, let me break that down. And then I'm ready to let you all go. Lord, I believe you. And God said, okay, now, come on, angels. Do some things for Ramson Mumba that he doesn't qualify for. Unmerited. We live in such a meritocracy that everybody is just working so hard to live up to some spurious norm, some standard that some nincompoop who don't even meet it himself. Hello, somebody. They are like Pharisees. Jesus said to them, Woe be unto you, scribes and Pharisees, for you are like people that are standing at the gates to the kingdom of heaven. You don't want to go in, but you also refuse for others to go in. Yet he said, if you believe, I'm going to bless you on the level that you yourself will know. I don't deserve this. This is not something I put up. And if 2012 finishes and all you've received, if everything you think you qualify for, you've missed the whole year. God, do me more than Ramson Mumba can do me. Come on. Okay, okay. Did you hear the colloquialism? God, do for me more than I qualify for. But I don't care what's wrong with my life. I don't care what's wrong with your life. If you can believe God, come on, somebody. The word says it's going to be by faith that you can access what you don't qualify for. So here is the announcement. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Next year, Next year, don't be surprised, don't be surprised. if my manifestations, my manifestations are better, are better. than my righteousness. I don't think you can take that. I don't think you can take that. See, because see, they'll, they'll be talking about, did you not hear what she did? I heard what happened. I'm not sure God can do that. That's what you get for thinking instead of believing. Get out of your mind and get in faith. Get out of your works and get into what he did. Hello, somebody. He has already been punished. If you did things you think you need to be punished, guess what? It's already happened. The chastisement of your peace, the punishment that brought you peace was laid upon him. And by his stripes you were healed. And so today, if you can believe it, get ready for stuff that you don't deserve. This year, if you want to call it another way, it's the year of more than I deserve. See you just, okay. More than I deserve. Can, can you take this? We walk by faith. We believe God. We stand on the word. Are you listening to me, Bradford? Are you, Houston, are you listening to me? This year, take yourself out of the equation. Step aside. Let the Lord show you stuff that will be embarrassing. The blessing will embarrass you this year. Some of you will be hiding your car. You won't want to park it in the parking lot of the church because you, the brethren. And the non-brethren, hello somebody, <laughs> they are going, going to start talking you. You will be careful who you invite to your house because when they see the grounds of your mansion, hello somebody, they, you, you can't even put it on the church bulletin because the saints will be saying, ah. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, give the Lord a shout this morning. <laughs> Glory to God. Now, let's all stand to our feet. Everybody stand right here, Bradford, Houston, Birmingham, come on. Lift your hands up to heaven. Lift your hands up to heaven. Now, this is between you and God.
We're going to make a decision. And today's decision is about getting you out of your way. Because you're going to be your biggest enemy. Everybody can say what they want to say about you, but you don't have what they say. You have what you say. So lift your hands up. Say this after me, Father. Father. Today, Today, I surrender surrender. my own righteousness, righteousness. my good works, works. my perfection perfection. to you. you. Today, Today, I step aside aside. and I embrace embrace your grace. grace. I embrace embrace the truth truth that this year year I I will receive. I receive more than I deserve. It may be embarrassing, but I can stand to be blessed. I can take it. I will get used to it. Just do more than I qualify for. Lord, help me. Step out of my own way. I love you with all my heart. Now I declare that First of January, 2012, is not only the beginning, but the continuation of my days of heaven on earth, not just for me, but for my children. And in the name of Jesus, I release my faith. I set my faith. To see the goodness of the Lord. Surprise me, Lord. This year, shock me with your favor. Shock me with the magnitude of the blessing. Not just a little, but the whole world is mine. In Jesus' name. Now give the Lord a shout if you believe that. Come on, somebody. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 All right. All right. One more question, and then we're going to give you an opportunity to make some decisions. One more question. How many of you are going to stop being your worst enemy? Now, see your hand. I told you it doesn't matter what people say about you. It affects you because you believe it. If you don't believe it and you don't start saying it, it doesn't matter. How many of you are going to stop that? I'm not going, you can talk about me. Tell your neighbor, you can talk about me. Or you want to. In fact, it'll be my pleasure to give you something to talk about. Come on, give the Lord a shout if you will. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm so glad you could join us for today's broadcast. My prayer is that faith has come as you have heard the word and it is beginning to give you a different expectation. You know, one of the things we talked about in this teaching series was that even though the children of Israel lived in Egypt, yet they were assigned a specific district called Goshen. Naturally speaking, they should have been subject to the same conditions and circumstances that constricted and overcame the Egyptians. But while it was dark in Egypt, it was light in Goshen. So I welcome you in these broadcasts to Goshen, where regardless of what's happening, when the world says there's a casting down, over here we say there's a lifting up. When they go into recession, we still got increase on our mind because even though we are in the world, we are not of the world. We are ambassadors of Jesus Christ. And therefore, our economy is determined by how good heaven is doing. And I'm telling you right now, things are great in the kingdom of God. Everything is awesome in the kingdom of God. So no more fear, no more sad stories, no more inferiority, no more defeat, no more sickness and disease. Come on over here to Goshen because that's where you belong and enjoy the glory of God in the midst of a degenerating and deteriorating world because you have been rescued by the power of the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. And so until next time, this is Ramson Mumba reminding you that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, 
you get wisdom, and in all of your getting, get understanding. God bless you. Join Dr. Ramsam Mumba for his Word Explosion conferences that are being held around the United Kingdom throughout 2012. I don't know what situation you got, but if you can find it in the Word that there's a way out, the first thing you need to do is to conceive the Word, and now it's just a matter of time. You are on your way to manifestation. Come and hear the uncompromising Word of God taught with simplicity and understanding in Nottingham on the 11th of February, Bradford on the 25th of February, Cardiff on the 9th of June, Birmingham on the 21st of July, Manchester on the 18th of August, Sheffield on the 22nd of September, Loughborough on the 20th of October. You were born here. You were born sound. You were born to be the head and not the tail. You were born for everything you touch to turn to gold. You were born to succeed and to rise up like an eagle and not be beneath but above only. Glory to God. Your destiny is about to change and your life will never be the same again. For more information and to register, call us at 084-560-2270. Email info at elshaddaitoday.com or log on to our website at www.elshaddaitoday.com. Word Explosion 2012. Come and discover your destiny and enter into the realm of possibility. Admission is free. Thank you for watching Get Understanding. For information about our ministries or to download our free podcasts, visit us at www.elshaddaitoday.com.